Do you want your players on FM23 to go from looking like this to this? Then you have come to the right place. In this video, we are going to have a look at how to install a face pack on Football Manager 2023. And if you want guides on how to install other essentials, then please do hit that subscribe button down below to join the Sort It Out SI YouTube channel. Uh, and you can check out the playlist that's going to be linked in the description as well. That's going to have a link to all of the guides to install all of the graphical essentials and the real name fix and everything you need right now to play FM23 to its absolute best. Now, if this isn't your first time and you've installed a face pack before and just want a refresher on how to do so, we've got a quick guide right here, which is going to take about 10 or 15 seconds that I'll run through really quickly. It's going to pop up on screen. But if it's your first time, you're probably going to want to, well, watch this and then jump forward those 10 seconds and watch the full guide. Right, the quick guide. Here we go then. Download and extract the face pack of your choice. There's going to be links in the description down below. Head to the locations on screen and create a graphics folder if it isn't already there. Once your download is finished, it might take a while depending on the face pack and how often you've updated it. You paste the downloaded files into that location, into that graphics folder that we've just created. You open up FM23, head to your preferences page, untick use caching, tick reload skin, confirm your changes and congratulations, your face pack should now be installed. If it isn't, now you've got to watch the full guide to make sure you've not gone wrong somewhere and you can follow every step a little bit more detail and we'll guide you through the way to do things. First off then, you'll want to head to the sortitoutsi.net website, which is linked in the description below. We'll take you exactly where you need to go. But if you're not there, you click on the player faces option. It's either going to be Football Manager 23 if it's after the game's been released or it might still say Football Manager 2022, but you'll get to the right place anyway. The packs will be the same. When you've got to that screen, you'll see this. There's an array of face packs that are available to download. Obviously, if you follow the description, you'll be straight there. Uh, in this video, I'm going to use the cutout face pack. Uh, the DF11 face pack is also quite popular, but the cutout one basically matches the default players in the game. Uh, once you've downloaded the face pack of choice, the installation process is the same. So don't worry if you've downloaded a different one. Uh, be warned though, because the cutout mega pack is huge. There's nearly 400 players in there and staff and everything like that. 400 sets of faces. Uh, 400,000 sets of faces, sorry. Uh, and roughly about 10 gig worth of data. So it's going to take a little while to download and extract. I think it took about 20 minutes to extract on my computer. But once it's there, it's there. And you can just download the updates every other month. It's fine. Uh, anyway, at the launch of a new game, there's a new complete pack that gets updated. You'll see it if you're first time. Download this first. If it's not your first time, you've already got some of the cutout packs downloaded. If you're logged in, it will track and tell you where you have last downloaded an update pack. So as long as you're logged in, it'll keep track of it. And every three or four weeks, there's a new update coming. And you can just download that one, add it into your folder, and you're good to go with all of the new faces. Uh, if you are a premium member, the download page will look a little bit like this. Uh, if you are not a premium member, if you're just a regular member, it'll look like this. And there'll be slightly different parts that you have to download. There'll be more than one part if you're downloading the Mega Pack. Uh, and also there's a torrent link in there as well. I'm not going to tell you how to download torrents or download in general, but once you have downloaded whatever pack you've downloaded, whichever version of whatever pack you want to download, whether that's the complete packs or the updates, if this isn't your first time, you'll be left with one or maybe more zip or raw files in your download folder. So use whatever extraction software you prefer. I'm going to use 7-zip. You can see here I'm using 7-zip. Uh, and others are available. There's WinRAR. There's a built-in one on Mac, I think. They're all just as good. They'll just extract the files into your download folder and you'll be good to go from there. So whatever face pack you've got, this instruction uh, this instruction is basically the same. The process is the same. Uh, and if you're on Windows or Mac, there'll be a slightly different location you need to go to. They're on screen now. So on Mac, you want to go to a brand new window, hit go, go to folder and paste in the location and you'll go straight there. Might be slightly different if you're on uh, Game Pass or Epic, but go to the website. You'll have full detailed instructions of everything, every different platform you could possibly play on. Uh, but the location basically is the same. It's slightly different, but it's the same. You need to find your uh, Football Manager 2023 folder, and there should hopefully be a graphics folder in there. If there isn't, create one. That's all you need to do. Uh, you need to basically go Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2023, Graphics. It needs to be lowercase, but it's just, just graphics. That's all you need to do. Once you're there, create another subfolder called Players or Faces. I normally get Faces but anything. Uh, it doesn't matter from this point what you call it. It's all about how you want to 
structure your graphics folder. Make sure it's obvious what's inside for you, especially if you want to install logos or kits. Uh, there'll be links up here um, if you do want to do that or any other graphical mods. But make sure you know where you're putting things. Hopefully, after watching all of this and having a pause, make a cup of tea, the cutout pack should be downloaded and extracted. There should be fine. You should be able to find a faces and an icon faces folder, which will be full of about 400,000 player and staff faces. And importantly, a config file at the end as well. This is the file that tells the game where to map all of the faces and where to put them in the game. So hopefully you've got that. Once you've got everything, copy it across, put it in that new graphics folder that you've just downloaded, the subfolder players or faces, whatever you've done, put both folders in there with all those files in and it should be good to go. Then you need to boot up FM23 if you haven't got it open already. Uh, once you are in FM23, go to your, your save game, head to preferences. You can do it on the main menu as well if you really want to. Uh, but basically where they click the FM button at the top where you save your game if it's already open and navigate down to preferences. You need to click advanced and all and then just scroll down like you see I'm doing here uh, and go to uh, where it says use catching. Uh, you need to just untick that and then the box below is reload skin and tick that and that's it. You can clear the cache as well from here but that doesn't really dramatically do anything if you if you untick cache. In the past it used to help loading, loading times unless you're running on a toaster. It won't make much difference these days. Um, uh, but once you've made sure that those two options have been set, so caching off, reload skin on, you just need to wait a few seconds, confirm your changes, wait a few seconds. It might take a little longer if you've got a big uh, mega pack of faces or kits and logos all at the same time. If you're doing that all at once, it might take a little while. I might say, go make another cup of tea. Have another cup of tea. You can't go wrong. But once that's done, your game will basically be updated with the face pack that you tried to install, uh, and it should be there. So the vast majority of players in the game will now have faces. All the staff will have faces, obviously. They get updated with the cutout mega pack every single month. So congratulations, you've got faces in the game. You've installed a face pack successfully. Hopefully, all of those steps were nice and easy to follow. And you've you've done it, you've done it. Let me know in the comments if you have, or in the relevant part of the sortoutsi.net website. If you've got any problems, again, we'll try and help you in the comments. But go back and watch the video. Read the instructions in the description. Go to the website and look on the face pack you've downloaded. There should be instructions on there too. Follow them again step by step. Give it two goes. If it doesn't work on the second try, let us know in the comments. We'll try and help. From here though, you can watch some further guides to install essentials for FM23. There's going to be kits, logos, obviously the fake player faces, the rename fix, backgrounds, lots of videos are coming on the channel. If they're not already here, there'll be a playlist linked in the description as well. Uh, we've got lots of other great content to offer here on the Sort It Out SI YouTube channel, so please subscribe, like today's video, and thank you so much for watching. I've been Anders, and I'll see you on the next video. See you next time.